Hey guys, what's going on? Um, in this video, I decided to do a little tutorial on this very, um, very annoying thing that that you're probably going to come across if you're a game developer. So um, basically, if you decide to uh, put a collider on this vehicle, and if you just um, import it into Unity, you're probably going to get something like this. And if you disable the convex uh, toggle, you're going to get a nice, uh, well, you're going to get all the colliders done, but the vehicle is not going to work. Uh, the wheel colliders are going to be all um, crooked and stuff. So I came up with this little solution that's, well, it's not really automatic. You still have to do it manually, but at least it gets the job done relatively quickly. So uh, let me show you what the fuss is all about. Let's uh, take my main body of the vehicle and hide everything else. So well, let's um, ship hide everything. So we get this little shape. Um, now what we're going to be doing is selecting. Uh, we're going to be looking at the holes here, and we're going to be making uh, colliders accordingly. But this is how we're going to be doing. This is the thing that I sort of came up with. Uh, basically, you select all that you need. For example, let's start with this. Uh, let's just select that. Um, let me. Uh, all right. Um, let's do just this half of the vehicle. Now let's take it and um, detach it from the vehicle. So let's press Y. Now press space and type in convex hull or center you get this thing looks pretty weird but trust me it's gonna work sort of well um so we get this thing so now uh let's add another material it's gonna be um hold on, let me go into blender render let's remove damn it let's make it green just so we can see our progress so we made that Take this part, do the same thing, Y, space, convex hole, and let's paint it green just so it looks better. Um, we're gonna be we're gonna keep doing this, so let's um, select this roof here. Seems like a nice thing to do. Um, press Y or hide. Damn it. Um, space hull and paint it green. So yeah, um, this is uh, the end shape. As you can see, it's not perfect. We don't have every hole, but it's not um, it's not as bad as what we would get if we didn't do this. So yeah, um, now 
we're not actually done. I'm going to show you how to export this to Unity. Um, we're basically going to do that by going and uh, selecting all these green cubes. Actually, let me paint the doors green as well. Just like that. Um, let's go ahead and select all that. Shift hide. Um, Alt hide. Wait. Uh, select. Select all. Just select this and delete everything. Um, all right. So I could probably yeah. I got the glass colliders as well, so it doesn't matter. Um, get this end shape. You can also tweak the colliders if you don't like them, and just like I'm doing right now. I'm gonna lower that a little bit. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Um, so now uh, I'm gonna go ahead and um, go into object mode. I'll hide. Select this. Um, hide. Select everything. Delete. I'll hide and get this object. Um, now let's go ahead and take every single uh, every single thing that's here. Let's make it a object for itself. So that's uh, I don't remember how to do it automatically, so I'm just going to do it manually again. Um, P L P L P It doesn't have to be centered anywhere. I mean, uh, you don't have to reassign the origin of every single thing. They can all share the the origin of the body, the vehicle. So that's absolutely fine. Don't have to worry about that. So, all right. So yeah, we got this. You know, let's export that to. Um, Let's save it as whatever it is and just add colliders. So now let's go over to Unity and let me show you how it works. So now here in Unity, um, this is the Jeep. And that's, as you can see, it's got the crooked little colliders. They don't look like anything. They're actually horrible. Um, so what I'm going to do is select select this vehicle, add the colliders inside of this. As you can see they're a lot better. Um, I'm gonna take all these things. There's actually a lot of them. It doesn't matter, it doesn't really affect the performance in any significant way. So uh, let's add component, mesh collider, convex. Now it's a lot better as you can see. Um, I did it on this vehicle as well. So um, let's tag it as vehicle and let's remove the mesh render and filter. And we're left with that. So let's disable our cube or convex collider right here, mesh collider. And let's try driving this thing. Let's see if it works. It should work, the other one does. So let's check this one out. Okay, and there, the tags are nice and well, Ooh, so, hold on, got a little problem with my thing with the script and stuff, so yeah, it's obviously working, it's not perfect, but it's working, so you can even drive it as well, no problem. Collision works. I just don't have colliders on some objects. As you can see, I could collide with that one. No problem. So, yep. That's it for this video. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe. If you want to watch the journey of this game that I'm working on. Uh, if you're interested in the game itself, well, subscribe and um, ask any questions if you have them. So yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. See you later. Bye.